share my rabbit knowledge with you, baby. Drive you crazy. When producing an MEP model, one of the first tasks tends to be importing external information and for decades, levels and grids have been utilised to align multidisciplinary information. I'm assuming you know how to copy monitor levels and will concentrate on the best method to filter out levels from different disciplines. I've worked on many models utilising a strategy which involves editing the display settings of linked models within the view template. However, this is troublesome and requires configuring for each linked instance. Best practices to use filters. Here we have a layout. Grid lines have been copy monitored from an external link. However, also visible are the grid lines from the original link and others. My preference is to filter based on type name. So before we set up the filter, we need to rename our grid family type. Select a grid line, edit type in the properties panel and either rename the default type or duplicate. Include a unique reference. Business abbreviation is always a good start. On a side note, applying a prefix to everything in your Revit template is good practice. It can help resolve random issues that crop up throughout project. There's plenty of ways to do this in bulk also with Dynamo and DI Roots. We can then jump into our view template, filters, edit new, create a new filter and select grids and levels in categories. The rule needs to apply to the type name parameter with the rule does not contain, followed by the chosen reference, in my case MR00. Hit OK and then add our newly created filter, ensuring enable filter is checked and visibility unchecked. Applying our changes to the view template, we now see the only grid lines visible are our copy monitored ones. Another suitable filter based method is to filter by work set. Essentially put grids and levels on a specific work set and filter as demonstrated. Work set does not contain followed by the chosen work set. Though rationalizing work sets is best practice in my opinion and using the work set shared levels and grids can conflict as this is a common naming convention. Your chosen method can then be applied to all view templates within your project template and never again will you need to manually hide your grid lines per link per project. I like Dynamo for this.